So today I want to talk a little bit about communicating with the universe. It would blow your mind if you really fully understood how simple the universe is to communicate with. The universe is very blunt, very, very point blank, very simple, very straight to the point. Okay. My favorite questions that people ask me are, should I's? Should I's? Should I move to another state? Should I go look for another job? Should I write this book that I've been thinking about writing? Should I start this YouTube channel I've been wanting to start? Should I, should I, should I, should I, should I? I love those questions and I'll tell you why. Because do you want to know whether or not you should? You don't need to ask me. I'll tell you how to figure it out. Try it. <laughs> I'm not playing with you, dude. Try it right now. If you're wondering whether or not you should move to another state, drop everything you're doing right now and try it. If the universe says, no, you should not, you will not be able to. Period. You will not be able to. Now, if that door opens and you're able to pass through with very little to no resistance, that means the universe says, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Now, does that mean that the experience is going to be rainbows, unicorn farts, and little pink bunny shit and skittles? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily at all. I've talked to a few people over the past few months who come to me and ask me, am I on the right path? And I'm like, well, let me ask you this. How difficult was it to make the decision that you made? It wasn't difficult at all. It like basically happened for me. Well, then you're absolutely on the right path. That's not going to happen if the universe doesn't want you to do what you're doing. But I'm so scared. Well, let me ask you this. How long were you in the last routine that you were in? And some people would say years, months. One person even told me 20 years. So you were in the same cycle for 20 years. And then the universe opened a brand new door for you to walk away from that old lifestyle and start a totally new one. Of course, it's going to be uncomfortable. Of course. Your entire neural network is wired to that old routine. <laughs> it's not, you're not just going to walk into this new lifestyle and be comfortable with it overnight. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's going to take at least six months to a year to just begin the process of kind of sort of starting to get comfortable with it. You know, at least six months to a year. What we're doing is we're unwiring the old routine out of our brain and wiring a new routine into our brain, okay? Now that kind of trails off and turns into a completely different topic, okay? But here's the part that kind of breaks my heart about people who ask me these questions. Should I write this book that I've been wanting to write? What they're actually asking me isn't whether or not they should. It's if I do this, Will it be successful and will I make money? That's what they're asking me. The heartbreaking part about that is it implies to me that if the answer is no, it won't make you any money, they won't fucking do it. That is the level of the ass backwards, upside down programming that we have been subjected to in this 3D system that we're moving out of. See, we have been so programmed to chase money that your average person has no idea what they're passionate about. No idea. No idea. I guarantee you, I would feel very safe betting that I could walk out and find any random person on the street. I live in Las Vegas. I could walk downtown to the strip, pick out any random person and ask them, what are you most passionate about? And I would feel very safe betting that a huge number of people, possibly the majority, would all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you can give yourself permission, and I did say give yourself permission, if you can allow yourself and give yourself permission 
to do something, anything. I don't care what it is. I don't care how silly it is. I don't care how stupid it sounds, okay? If you can give yourself permission to do something and dump all of your passion into it for no good reason other than it makes you feel good, that is the energy that will eventually end up leading you to the career that aligns with your highest good. This is how you find that path. Okay? Yes. Start writing that book right now. Will it pop off and be successful? Maybe. Maybe not. Who gives a shit? I'm going to be real with you. More than likely, the chances are very, very high that the first thing you set off to do, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. But that's not the point. The point of it is, is you followed your fire. You followed your fire. Writing that book lights this little fire in your soul. And you follow it. As you're writing this book, pay attention. Pay attention. Case from Everyday Masters is the first person I ever heard use this analogy. And it's perfect. It works perfect. That's a breadcrumb on the trail. You go after that breadcrumb and you're writing this book. You know, just dumping nothing but passion and fire into it. That's one breadcrumb. Next thing you know, the next thing you know, something else is going to light that fire. Maybe you're doing some research on something or whatever. And the next thing you know, as you're scrolling through social media, you go to scroll past something, it lights that fire again. Pay attention to that feeling. <sighs> Sometimes it's just a little bitty flicker and flame, a little teeny weeny little flicker and flame. But you see, we are so programmed to say to ourselves, mm, I don't have time for that. Mm, nah, I don't have time for that. And we just stamp the fire out. No, 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 no. You do have time for that. You do have time for that. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's making Ninja Turtles out of clay. I don't care what it is, okay? Don't worry about what people think and what they say about you, okay? As you take yourself off of this frequency that you're on and you start turning that radio dial, which is inside of you, and you start reprogramming yourself, unwiring old belief systems, rewiring new belief systems, unwiring old habits, rewiring new habits, walking in a different path, doing different things, allowing yourself to explore new areas. You're turning your radio dial, okay? You're turning that radio dial. You are going to have people who have shit to say about that. Oh yes, you will. That is never going to stop, okay? That is never gonna stop. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I know at least one person needs to hear this. That's how you know you're doing it right. That's how you know. This is one of the trickiest parts of the entire path. One of the ways to know that you're on the right path is when people around you start grabbing on to you and trying to jerk you off the path that you're on. That is a default setting. That is a default setting. Mm -hmm. The people around you will grab on to you and try to rip you off the path that you're on. And that's going to happen your whole way up the mountain. And you know why that is? Because they see that you have something they wish they had. They wish they had the nerve and the courage to do the unthinkable. They wish that they had the motivation and the drive to get up and make a change in their life. But they don't. So the only thing they can come up with is, oh, no, you can't do that. You're making me look bad. By you doing that, that's shining a big light on what I need to do. And you're exposing me for the lazy piece of shit that I am. Uh-uh. So they're going to grab you and they're going to try to rip you off the path that you're on because it's exposing them. That's how you know that you're doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. You will have people judge you. You will have people hating on you. You will have people trying to throw shit at you your whole journey up the mountain. That's how you know you're doing the right thing. Mm-hmm.
I kind of took a few different weird random turns with this video here. Um, something, I'm just in the middle of my work day right now. I got personal readings I'm doing and something, something lit a fire in me and said that I needed to pull the camera out and shoot this video. So I know at least one person needed to hear that. And as long as one person takes one thing they heard me say in this video and uses it to transform their life, my job is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now, y'all. I wish you love, luck, light, and prosperity on your journey. Y'all stay blessed.